Welcome to our Runs on Radix interview series. I'm Christoph from RDX Works here today with Shimon from Fibonacci Finance. Welcome, Shimon. Hey, thank you so much for having me. It's really awesome that you had time to come in today. Um, could you please introduce your project to the audience? Of course. So Fibonacci Finance is a data-driven risk management tooling set. We focus on the financial risk of digital assets, which is a little different from smart contract risk. And we make it very easy for developers and teams of any level to really understand what the financial risks are of any assets that they're interacting with. I think that's the simplest way that I can put it, but we work with lots of different teams on different chains to help them with things like liquidity monitoring dashboards to track how their tokens are doing, if they have a native token, um, custom risk engines for perpetual exchanges or DeFi risk engines, um, and a whole suite of other tooling. And you can check out everything at docs.fibonacci.fi. Um, and I'm sure that we're going to get into some cool stuff during this interview. That sounds really, really amazing. I always like it when projects are making DeFi and Web3 as a whole much more accessible for users. So could you give an overview how your integration on Radix will work? We were able to integrate the major assets that are live post-Babylon uh, into our suite of APIs. So for those that don't know, APIs are a way to send information very easily. So what we've done is we've taken very complex data of um, token composition, financial risk metrics for some of the most popular assets that are already live on platforms like AukaSwap. And we make it so that any developer can query these risks with a single API call. So what this means is that any Radix DeFi projects will be able to integrate very advanced financial risk data, which can help with things like liquidations. So, you know, the, the, an asset selling on chain can be sometimes sold for a lot less than on a centralized exchange because of something known as slippage. So this is, for instance, something that we will visualize for all Radix users through our APIs. And we're very excited by this. Um, and we think that Radix is an excellent destination for this type of service with its native focus on decentralized finance. Well, so you're not only making it more accessible, you're also making it a little bit safer as far as I understand, right? Well, it's up to the Radix community to use our solutions. All we can do is provide them. But yes, it is almost a certainty that a DeFi project that integrates our data will have a more robust risk framework than a project that does not. Amazing. So could you give a little bit of an overview um, about the founders? Are you a sole founder? What does your team look like? Uh, maybe you want to talk about that a little bit. Sure. So right now we are a small team of three. We are currently fundraising, but we've actually been pretty successful at getting clients and grants and are just kind of self-sustaining for now. My co-founder is named Samyar. He has a background in international business and finance. I have more of a background in political economy. And he and I have been working together on lots of different projects for almost six years now. We previously built a DeFi project on Solana before this, where we learned firsthand how important financial risk management is, especially because there is some, let's say, shakiness on Solana last year. We realized that what was unique about our previous project was our risk engine, which was the most advanced on Solana at the time. And we realized that this risk engine could be applied to any chain because financial risks, unfortunately, are present on every chain. And so we started this project about eight months ago, and we've been live for three months. And since then, we've received grants from three or four major chains, as well as many different customers from these different chains. And we're looking to work with as many projects as possible. All really, really interesting and exciting news. So um, could you give us an outlook on when you're going to integrate with Radix? When is the DAP going to be live or when is your project going to be live and some maybe some alpha for our audience? Well, I hope that 
we're live at the time that this interview is being released into the world. And if so, you'll be able to check at docs.fibonacci.fi. And yeah, we are very excited by Babylon's release and to see new projects emerge and go live and for the TVL to really expand. And we will be closely monitoring new tokens that enter the Radix ecosystem and we'll be adding them to the risk metrics as well, given sufficient liquidity. Sounds awesome. So I think that's it for today. Um, I'm Christoph from RDX Works here with Shimon from Fibonacci Finance. See you next time. Thank you so much for having me. Bye. Thank you. Thank you.